requirement. Unsuspecting homeowners in Colorado could be drinking water containing bathroom bacteria or lawn chemicals. It can happen if there is an unusual drop in your water pressure and your pipes aren't properly protected. Nine Wants to Know reporter Melissa Blasius teamed up with iNews at Rocky Mountain PBS to show you how to protect your family from getting sick. One October morning last year at the Printers Park Medical Plaza in Colorado Springs. And the water had a kind of a frothy look and it had a funny smell. Worker after worker started feeling sick. They had been feeling like they were going to throw up. 26 people ended up at the ER. They came in and told us don't drink the water. The same thing happened in 1990 at a Brighton Middle School. And it just tastes like, just like. Russ. Eight students ended up at the hospital. First, I started the headache. My stomach started hurting and it felt like I want to throw up. So, what was going on? Health department investigators found antifreeze from the boiler systems had gotten into the drinking water. In plumbing, when your fresh water supply comes into contact with water that has chemicals, sewage, or bacteria, it's called a cross connection. And that bad stuff you shouldn't drink can get sucked back into your drinking water pipes if there's a drop in pressure, like a water main break, firefighters tapping a hydrant, even a flush can cause backflow. While there aren't any studies on how often Colorado businesses have cross connections, the state does keep records on hundreds of community water systems. Looking at the inspection data, our partners at iNews found 30% of those systems failed to follow all the rules to prevent backflow. We don't want anybody to get sick from the water. <laughs> The dangers also extend into places we live. The EPA funded a study in Iowa finding 96% of homes inspected had a direct or indirect cross connection to a health hazard, making them susceptible to backflow. Backflow is a natural occurrence. It's going to happen. Joseph Montoya teaches plumbing code at Red Rocks Community College. He says outdoor spigots are the most vulnerable. People will connect hose end sprayers to their hoses to spray their lawns with chemical and then they'll leave that connected. If you don't disconnect it, it could easily come back into your house. Montoya says newer homes have protection. And an anti-siphon valve attached to the hose bib itself. But the grossest place to have a cross connection is inside the toilet tank. The culprit, one of these things called either a fill valve or a ball cock. Once installed, you want to make sure that this top part here is at least one inch above the top of the overflow tube. That's this thing here in the center. Sometimes do-it-yourselfers will install the fill valve lower, hoping to conserve water, but they may actually risk contaminating it. If I have a backup within the toilet, now my protection will be in that dirty water. And that dirty water can make you sick without you even realizing the cause. A lot of times it's misdiagnosed as food poisoning. It made you sick, it was something you ate. The doctors never really go to what did you drink. I should stress, if you have a cross connection, you would only have a water contamination issue if there was a drop in water pressure or possibly a sewer system backup. It's not an everyday occurrence and the severity can vary. Uh, also, we want to talk about this is one of the busiest weeks of the year for plumbers. Thanksgiving seems to be a huge time for pipe backups and other disasters. Today, we heard from our plumber friends on Twitter and Facebook about how to keep them at bay over this holiday. First, throw food waste, especially things like potato peelings, celery and carrots in the garbage can to avoid jamming up the garbage disposal. Grease is your drain's worst enemy. And in most cases, you should turn off the wa main water supply to your house if you're heading out of town. That is one that my dad did every time hmm. when I was growing up. We had to wait for him to turn off the turn water off supply the water. before we pulled out of the driveway. Very interesting. Melissa Blasius, thanks.